All right, sorry folks, good news is over, the idiocy begins, and what this edition might lack in number of stupid stories is made up by the fact that the people in them are really stupid. Here we have a story of someone who called 911 saying that a man was in a church parking lot with a long rifle. The thing is, he didn't have a long rifle. He didn't have any firearms at all. He was playing a bassoon. Uh, the education in this country continues to go downward into a dark spiral. The man, 22-year-old Eric Barga, said, quote, I saw a police car, it's a big police van, roll up really slowly. I wasn't concerned that I was doing anything wrong. I put on a little dopey smile and say, did someone call the cops on me? And he was afraid he might have violated a noise ordinance. The idea of someone mistaking his bassoon for a rifle never crossed his mind. <laughs> well, let I me mean, you look at it. I mean, it has wood plating, so wood plating and it's long rifle. <laughs> well, apparently he had no reason to feel like he was in any real trouble. As the officers were already giggling as they approached him, and one of them even asked the classic question, Is that a bassoon or an oboe? You know, now give bonus points to the officer that actually knows about this stuff, but I guarantee you majority of people don't even know what an oboe or a bassoon is. They just think it's probably, oh, look, it's like a flute, right? Well, an oboe is kind of like a clarinet, but the bell's a different shape and it has the double reed. A bassoon is like a big tree trunk. Yeah. Of course, we've covered cases where police, completely as the result of mistakes, have arrested or even killed innocent people, so it's probably best that this sort of thing not happen any more often than it has to. Yeah, just, it's just another day in this, this wacky, messed up country of ours. Like, oh my gosh, it could be something. Let's call police and... Can't even stop to, like, get a close look at what it actually is. Yeah, you call for this stupid stuff. Wasting time and wasting police resources. Well, and that's what Springfield Police Chief Lee Graff had said, quote, They're filtering everything through their experience, and he laments that, at best, this sort of thing is a waste of police resources. But, I mean, you get a report of someone with a gun, they have to check it out. This situation could end up deadly. Now, personally, I'm going to blame the news media for this because it's a direct result of all their sensationalism and fear-mongering about guns. There's a neurological effect called priming. Long-time listeners will know about this if you think way, way, way back 11 years ago to the original Bogosity, I was doing the backmasking. I played various pieces of music backwards. They sound like gibberish, but as soon as I put the words on screen, the supposed satanic messages people claimed were hidden in there, you immediately heard it say those words, that's the power your association cortex has over everything you see and hear. And they're making people so paranoid about guns, they're seeing them everywhere. You know, a toddler bites a Pop-Tart into the shape of a gun and everyone freaks out. They hype these things up. They make them into these mythical creatures. We make myths about them. Guns are like these, my gosh, these evil things that once you touch them, you turn into an evil demon man or woman or whatever. Guns are just tools. It's the person who uses it. Picking up a hammer doesn't make you a carpenter. Picking up a gun doesn't make you a killer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>